Hi everyone, welcome back to our winter folio. We made the cover last time and I picked out some things for the to decorate the cover and also cut all the pieces for the inside. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to uh, wrap these corners. Remember I did not do a good job on the corners and um, so I'm going to show you and I'm actually not even doing that great job wrapping these. I'm sorry, I'm kind of having, a, I've had food poisoning so a lot of it. But in any case, this inside is going to be completely covered, so it, these won't be seen. Um, and this is these are the ones that I didn't do a good job on, but I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. So in order to do these, uh, cut out a circle. I used a two-inch punch and just cut some circles. And then you want to fold the circle in half, open it up, fold it in half again, so you have four quarters. And then you want to remove one of the quarters. Sorry, I have to pick it up so I can see it. Okay, like that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is just wrap it around the corner, like that. And when you do that, just check to see if you need to trim, um, and actually I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna put that one in first. So I'm just checking to see. I think I need to trim a little bit off of this one side. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna glue. And I, as you may have seen in my last video, I got this beautiful pin from one of my viewers. And I got this dish to put my pin in from Mary, another one of my viewers. And I am super happy about that. So hopefully going forward between the two of them, I won't have, be, keep losing my pin. Okay. So I'm just going to put that there. In. And I did a better job of that. And fold that around. And there we go. And I don't think you saw either that I did line the inside of this fully. Um, I don't know if I can't remember if I did that on camera or not. Now, if you did a good job of your corners, unlike me, you won't have to do this. But, and I probably could have got away with not doing it either, but at least this way you see a way, one way anyway of hiding them. And I did a much better job on these two than I did of these two, because I wasn't paying attention when I did those two. Okay, so there is that. And then what I picked out for the cover is are these things, okay? So let me, let me put this piece down first and I'm not, I like the crisp color so I'm not gonna ink it. And now you'll have to measure your own to get an exact measurement but mine is six and a half by eight and three quarters. And normally I probably wouldn't be doing my cover at this early stage, but since I needed to pick out what I wanted and get a cut, I just figured I might as well go ahead and put it down and get it out of the way so I don't lose it. Or accidentally cut it up and use it for something else. Like I've been known to do. Okay. That looks nice. 
these. I love the colors in this paper. And you could use it for Christmas. It looks like I put it a little high, but it's all right. You could use it for Christmas, but it's not overtly Christmas. You know, it's got holly and stuff, but those are also winter. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is take these pieces and we're gonna layer these. This is one of the cut aparts, and then I just cut each of the other pieces a quarter inch larger than the previous one. And then I'm gonna put this on the cover as a pocket. So I'm gonna put it not centered. I'm gonna put it a little lower so we can tuck some things in the pocket when the time comes. And if you don't want a pocket, if you just wanna decorate the, you know, the cover as is, you know, flat, then just go ahead and glue it down entirely. kind of um, following what I did on my Muttcracker um, folio that um, people liked and asked me to do a tutorial on. So that's what this is. And this is a design team project, I haven't mentioned, for Country Craft Creations. And the paper is My Favorite Winter by Echo Park, I think. Why I've drawn a blank. Yes, Echo Park. And I'm using white artisan cardstock. Also from Country Craft Creations, of course. I did um, I did an album using my favorite fall as well which I loved and I'm not going to be doing too many Christmas projects this year because I spent so much time on fall okay so we're just going to put a bead of glue on the outside edges the sides and the bottom and not the top off center towards the bottom. Cute. Okay. Cute. Okay, let's set that aside. I'm grabbing my cutting guide. You will have a nice neat one. Mine is a scrap of paper. Okay, so we're gonna do our waterfall. For the waterfall, you need eight pieces, four and three quarters by six and a quarter. Is that the right one? Yeah. Four and three quarters by six and a quarter. Okay, so that's those. And then you will need one base piece, six and a quarter by nine. And I think that is this one. Just to check. Six and a quarter by nine. Okay, so these are the pieces for that. These are some of our other pieces. And look, I have my my pin and my dish, and I still didn't put the pin in the glue, but at least I didn't lose the pin. So we're ahead of the game. All right. I don't know if you can hear it. Holly, my cat, is just crying, which she does at this time of day. So we're going to put the short side at the top, across the top and score at one half inch. But anyway, so I feel like I've been very much off track with recording these for you. I um spent much of this week running around doing my Christmas shopping 
and I think I mentioned I've come down I came down with food poisoning twice in the last two weeks just because the first time I didn't realize what it was and the second time I ate the same thing I'd eaten the first time so there you go live and learn But I have pretty much finished my Christmas shopping. I just have a couple things to get, but they're gift cards, so that'll be easy. And we're, our plans are kind of up in the air what we're gonna do. Because, you know, we usually have, you know, fairly big family thing, but it's just gonna be a few of us. So. And normally Christmas Eve is our big dinner. I think this year we're talking about maybe doing our big dinner on Christmas Day when there's more of us. And maybe just doing, you know, takeout or something, Chinese or something for Christmas Eve because there's only going to be three of us. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. all of these. This is 3 8 inch score tape. You could use um, art glitter glue if you like, but I do like to use tape for my waterfalls. these tabs. You can actually do it at the same time, really. Come. All right, oh, might as well have to that. All right, so what we're going to do is build our waterfall um, on our base. You've seen me do this before. If you've seen any, any waterfall, any project where I've done a waterfall, this is how I do it usually. Sorry, I have still got little Christmassy things here. So... Remove a little bit of the tape. And you know what? Hang on. I've got my other glasses right here. Let me put them on. Oh, that's better. Okay. All right. Can't wait till after the first of the year when I can get another new pair. Okay. Right. So I'm just lining up this corner. get that first one on nice and straight you want to just butt the next one up right up against the end of the tab there and again make sure it's even with the side of the base If I cut it at eight, which is where you would think it should be cut, I'd have too narrow a gap here. So what I really need to cut it at is, let's see, eight and an eighth, I think. It's actually, it's a hair less, but I'm gonna call it eight and an eighth. Okay, hang on. It's, it's a little narrow. I could have even gone a little bit wider, but that's this is fine. All right. And then we need a, we're going to glue this into the book, but we need a ribbon. Let me get rid of all these. Let me get some seam binding. Okay, so 
these were in my um, design team kit that came in my design team package that all came together. And we are totally going to use that. I love it. And I think to hold this closed, we're going to use the burgundy. I mean, isn't that, how adorable is that? Oh my gosh, I should have used that on the cover. We'll find, we'll find a home for that. Okay. All right. So what we need is a piece. We'll come around to the front and tie. Now this is only curling up because it's not glued down. It'll be fine once it's glued down. And we'll tie in a bow. Right. That's pretty good. Right. Come on. And let's set that aside. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape here. I guess it is. I love this little ruler, but it's hard to pick up. I think it's a little handle on it. Okay, maybe a ribbon. That's a good idea. While I'm thinking of it. Of course, green was probably not the best choice, given that it's always going to be on a green board. easier for me to pick it up. Okay. Okay. So then we need the back of this to have adhesive. And I've got some scraps here of score tape sheets. Okay. okay. And I have a teeny little bit right there that doesn't have any adhesive, but I think I'll use glue or something there. Okay. So this goes, let's get this out of the way. This goes here, okay? But before we can put it there, we need, um, and it covers almost the whole thing, but we need to put a backing on. Okay, so what are we gonna do for that? We don't want it to be anything that can be fairly plain, you know, because it's hardly gonna be seen. So that's gonna be eight and three quarters to eight and seven eighths by Six and a quarter. All right, what do we want to use? That, you can see what I meant by that. Those corner things are hardly going to show. This is, um, I don't know if you saw it when I was cutting it, I'll pull the, the side thing over. This is authentique. This is not part of the um, Echo Park. But it's from Country Craft Creations, of course. Where's my camera?
use my head. Authentic Spectrum Color Denim. Okay. All right, and then this is going to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it just to get the ribbons out of the way and seam binding. I don't bother with pre-crinkling or ironing any of my seam binding. It, it always ends up smoothing itself out over time. But that said, I live where it's crazy humid, and if you walk out your house, every wrinkle in your clothing falls right out. So, you know, there's that. If you need to iron yours, by all means, or wrinkle it, or however you like it. Okay, there's that. Now, let's see, what do we have next? Our accordion pocket goes here. All right, so for the accordion pocket, oops, we need one piece six and a half by seven, that's the flap, and one piece five by nine and a half. Now, I'm giving you all these measurements, but they'll be on the cutting guide. Ruler. Do y'all see my ruler? Somebody tell me where it is. Okay. Then we grab it. Oh my goodness, people. Where is this? Alright. So what did I say? Oh, those are clearly not the pieces I need. They're too small. Okay, so that's not it. I should have marked these when I cut them, but of course I didn't. Six and a half by seven. Okay, so that's the flap. This, is this the pocket? Six, this is not the pocket. This is a big piece. Nine and a half. What on earth did I cut that had to be nine and a half? I have no idea. Um, that's not it. Did I not cut that piece? Or did I use it for something? Six and a half by seven I need. Okay, I don't know what I did with it. No, I need five by nine and a half. Oh my goodness, Christina. That's the piece I needed. What on earth? Sorry, y'all. I am recording at night. How many excuses can I give you? I'm recording at night and I'm recovering from food poisoning, so. <sighs> we'll get her done. All right, let me go. All right, so you're gonna take the five by nine and a half piece, long edge across the top, and you are going to score at one half, one, one and a half. Turn, score the one long edge at a half. Turn again, and half. One, one and a half. Okay, then we're going to take the piece that is six and a half by seven. Okay, that's that one. And we're going to put the seven inch piece on the top. 
top and score at a half. Double check. Yeah, that's the, this is the flap. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just tape this flap. scissors. Rumor has it these are non-stick. Couldn't prove it by me. I like them though. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's our flap. Alright, now pocket. When you score this, let me get this out of the way so you can see, you've got three little squares at the bottom. One, two, three, right? And you want to cut those out. However, you don't want to cut right on the line, the score line. Cut a little bit up an angle into that point, just a little bit. Just like that. And then you want to do the same here, just angle in slightly to that point. Just like that. Okay. Fold. Yes, and actually fold them all in the same direction first. And then like that. Okay. With some volume. Now let's check and make sure that it fits. And it does. Okay, good. Now we need some tape. Alright, so you're just going to put some tape on this top fold. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Well, yeah, I'll put it on, but then what I want to do hang on, is we want to angle this top corner, as, top edge as well. Just get all that bulk out of there so it doesn't show the top of the pocket. Then, let's burnish down the tape. Goodness, I didn't put that on very straight, did I? And I'm going to lift these up. I'm going to put the tape on the bottom. Let's do that. I could have sworn I did. Did I put it on the wrong side? No, I just didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, so I went out with my sister for a while today. I did Christmas shopping, which 
was nice. Stores are kind of a zoo, but neither one of us needed very much. I didn't need anything really. She just needed, um, she's a teacher, so she needed something for her classroom. So what we are going to do, let's put that back down, is just put this right here at the bottom of the middle section. So I'm just going to peel the tape, oh, let's see, I'm sorry, peel the tape back from that one corner. And we're just going to, I have it up about, not even, I don't think a sixteenth from the bottom. I don't like to put them right there at the bottom because I don't want them to peek out at all when it's closed. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, good. Okay. And then this flap just goes up at the top. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to want those corners around it, so I might as well do it now. All right, if I could find my corner rounder. find it and do it later. I'm not going to hold up the whole thing. Oh, First thing in the new year is cleaning up my sewing room. Craft room, I guess I should call it. This. How is it? It's right here. Actually, first thing in the new year, I'm probably going to have to be packing my sewing room. I just have a couple things I need to get done around the house before I can list it. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, that doesn't look very straight, does it? Goodness. Good lord. Okay, let's fix that. to get another bottle of undo. This one's almost gone. better job this time getting that on lined up with that. going to use a magnet to close that, I think. I might use a tie. We'll wait and see on that. And let's see. Right, I think, I think we're probably at a good stopping point. Okay, so let's stop here. We'll come back. We'll do here and here. And Maybe we'll even get some of the matting done next time. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, despite all my fluffing around here. I'm having a really good time with it. I always do. This is uh, my favorite winter from Echo Park. It's a design team project for Country Craft Creations. And um, I will have a link down below so you can go there and get all of your supplies. Um, there will be a cutting guide down below so you can pick that up at my website. And I will see you next time. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share, all those other things. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.